Hi, this is Trevor. And this is Paul. And you are listening to the May Contain Action Podcast, available on Apple, Spotify, and more. Welcome to the May Contain Action Podcast, where your two favorite quote unquote content creators talk content, pop culture, gaming, and other important subjects. I am host number one, Trevor May, aka I am Trevor May, and host number two, Action Jackson, aka Paul. Woo! Here with me. Hey, Paul. Hey, man. How come I'm not host number one? Don't worry about it. The f- is today that we a- <laughs> today we, we have didn't a talk special- about this? Hey, let me say. Our Sorry. Game- <clears throat> All right. Today we have a very special guest. Oh yeah, that's Runes- me. Uh- oh, oh no! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, whoa! RuneScape master. Yes. Watch connoisseur and the trap king himself. Cypher PK is here with us, everybody. Woo! Thank you very much for having me. Love it. <laughs> Love it. I just not pause. You you pause just a little <laughs> too long, and I thought it was time. like a yeah. like yeah, an yeah. intro for me. Like a yeah. Little, it's only episode little eleven. Little. We're getting there. Yeah. Only a Yu Gi Oh thing. That. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Cypher. We're excited to have you, man. Thank you. I'm excited. Yes. Very glad fun. you're here, man. Dude, again, like. This is this is great. We're at episode eleven. We got we got Siphon here. We got one Siphon. more episode before before Trevor quits. Yep. I'm excited. I'm quitting. <laughs> so what's that joke about? Because I, I I saw it on Twitter about him quitting at the twelfth episode. So I've done two podcasts in the past. I had my own podcast named after me, and then I did another one gaming related with somebody else, and literally they both ended on episode twelve, both of them, because oh. of just like time or we couldn't link up or whatever yeah. it was like during the season like what for various reasons so the, the running joke is this one's gonna die at 12 too but it's more of a joke i think i think we're going pretty strong i i'm this one this is the most fun i've had sorry other people that have been a podcast with me but this is the best one so far <laughs> this is way better than ours sorry we well here's uh, making it to 13 yeah what, what a guy thanks Sife. Yeah. Really nice. uh, can i call you Sife? is that informal Sife is good yeah Life's good. All right. I just want to be sure yeah. on the same page. It could be like an hour interview. I don't want to upset you. Or should we call no. you PK? PK. 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 PK is more um, of a Nick thing. Cypher is good. Uh, all right. Well, that's actually uh, one of the best segues I've ever gotten. Cypher, uh, we want to get to know our guest, right? So we're going to ask you a bunch of different things. Just kind of understand uh, who you are, where you came from, um, and how you view content creation and why you do things the way that you do specifically because you actually have obviously success in how you do things versus how other people do things yes i do things uh, the best way exactly <clears throat> and humble so that's humble <laughs> wow goodness <laughs> that was George Fisher. um so Seif, where did your name come from where did cypher pk come from and what does the pk stand for so uh the short answer is PK came from uh, RuneScape. Uh, RuneScape was the game that I played and I made content on and streamed initially. And PK stands for player killer. And in RuneScape, if you killed other players, you were known as a player killer, a PKer. So PK, that's where that came from. Right. Cypher, on the other hand, um, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a story, but I'll I'll try to wrap it up real quickly. I was initially starting my YouTube channel with uh, my two younger brothers and my cousin. And it was a, it was a RuneScape channel, and uh, we wanted to all change our usernames to have like a clan, you know, uniform username. Sure. Um, but in order to change your username in that game, you had to be a paying member. And my cousin was not a paying member, and his name was Winter Cipher. So we oh. all just changed our names to like Summer Cipher, Fall Cipher, Spring Cipher, and he was Winter Cipher. And then after like the first two videos we uploaded, uh, my cousin quit, and then like. You know, a couple years later, my brothers quit, and then it was just me, <laughs> Cypher PK, and I took the name. <laughs> Wait, well, how old were you when this was all happening? Um, twelve. Dang! 12, okay. yeah. Wow, you're like a career. You're, a, you're a, you've been doing this longer than you haven't been doing this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, wow, yeah, that's crazy. Actually, that's, that's crazy when you when you put it like that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I have been doing this longer. Um, I mean, when wow. you were, oh, go ahead, Trev. That's like all the. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just blown away. Like, I was no. at 08. Oh, oh, nine? When no, you started? no, no, no. Yeah. How old? Two thousand. So, so two thousand ten, I think. 
Oh, so, 2010. Well, I mean, yeah, YouTube's been around since like 08. Yeah. So like that's. But you know, I have videos. I have videos on YouTube. Not on not on Cypher PK, but I have videos on YouTube. Yeah. From 08, 07 that I I, I used Whoa. to make stick wow. figure uh, animations uh, oh, yeah. on this other <laughs> channel. And what? I would so you would basically you would basically uh, you, there was this program that I downloaded. I think it was called Pivot, and you have these stick figures, and then you move them a little bit, take a picture, move them a little bit more, and then when you play it, it plays all the pictures, you know, in 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 however whatever speed you set it to, and you can like make a stop motion stick figure like movie or video. And I used to do that like before I did like the gaming content. Bro, who's got the the time Bro, i mean i guess if you're young i guess I was you got in, the I was like in middle school you know my kids got time that's so cool oh, they, were, they, were they were never good they were never good but i was definitely like trying to get good at that i remember the og content creator that's incredible those those types of videos were popping back then too i remember i've watched yeah. them before oh yeah, yeah that program was probably pretty was popular like stop that? motion stop motion that's the word stop motion yeah um was it like salad fingers and that kind of was that stop motion or is that no, does anyone know what I'm talking? Salad fingers, anyone? No, literally. Vaguely. What? Vaguely. Oh god, so I may have pushed it out of my mind. It freaked me out. It is horrifying. It is. I thought that was stop motion. That could be completely wrong. Um, wait. So, Sif, you were different. I, I immediately just. I feel like I thought of like Captain Planet or like Airbender with you and your said your cousins and your brother. Yeah. Uh, what what season were you? What season? Which what? cipher? Which were one you? were you again? You said you oh, were. Oh, I was. Uh, I was summer cipher. Summer Ooh. cipher. Nice. I dude. was summer cipher. Yeah. That was me. <laughs> Although I gotta say, winter <laughs> cipher probably is the coolest, coolest sounding one. But yeah, I was summer cipher. Winter it cipher does sound ominous. Sound. Yeah. Fall cipher. Eh, no, fall cipher doesn't sound eh. bad. Out of context. So yeah, it just sounds like the can. one everyone forgets about, though. You know, and spring yeah. and winter and summer. Those are all the big ones. But oh, then yeah. you're like fall me. Yeah. So you're. Ganking people back in, in RuneScape. Yeah, so we were, you know, we were a little squad and we were running around, you know, killing people in RuneScape. And uh, that's like all we did. Like RuneScape was a huge, it's a huge game. Like it's got a lot of depth to it. It's an MMO. So it's got all these layers and stuff. But I swear, I swear we really only just killed people. Like that's <laughs> what we spend 90% of our time doing is just killing people and figuring out different ways to kill people and, you know, stealing people's money and figuring out different ways to yeah. pe- stealing people's money in, in game. Um, yeah. Just griefing um, in, in game. Yeah. <laughs> we were little griefers, man. We were, we were a little toxic, and that's you know, uh, it's kind of kind of gave us some thick skin and uh, learned not to trust people. And it, it, I, I learned a lot. I feel like I feel like I owe a lot of just my online street smarts from RuneScape because yeah. it, yeah. it was it was it was it was in a way it was a sandbox. It was like like nowadays a lot of games are very uh, you know controlled and 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 um. There's there's limits to what you can do, but like mm-hmm. RuneScape was one of those games where it's like you get in there, you're in this other universe, and you just you can just do whatever you want to do. You can go whatever path you want to go to, um, and we did, and we were we were little griefers, and we had fun, we had fun killing people <laughs> and just being bandits. That's amazing. That's, a lot of stuff starting to make sense, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's all yeah, kind of coming together. It's all coming together. <laughs> that's freaking sweet uh that like because frankly when 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 we i why i watch your stream or watch your youtube videos like it's always got like a how can we solve this problem kind of premise right like yeah and the whole Mm -hmm. learning how to trap people in clever ways all that stuff and now you're saying you've been doing that for 10 years and like that's the way that you approach video games it all makes sense yeah um even even more importantly than the than uh, where your name came from um so i (laughs) I'm the fast food guy. I grew up uh, eating almost exclusively fast food, which is surprising for my profession. But, um, yeah. and so it's very important for me. Well, I think to... your health and your skin really shows it. So, why'd you have to throw the skin in there? <laughs> You've never even mentioned my skin before. And now, and now I'm never going to forget that. Wow. Yeah, last well, now, I'm, I'm, I'm a tomorrow. I was totally, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just uh, <laughs> I was it before Vegas. Okay, so joke. <laughs> uh, so I always want to know what. So everyone has like a go, like a, you drive by the place, you're like, oh, I could totally go for some whatever it is. Um, yeah. do you have do you have a fast food place that's that's your that's your 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 number one? My number one. Um, 
I, I mean, I, I feel like I'm only recently kind of discovering Shake Shack. Mm-hmm. Um, Mm-mm. and it okay. was it, I, I've been there before but it was kind of just not on my radar like that um, but okay. lately I've been going there a little bit more um, I love Chick-fil-A you know mm-hmm. I, yeah, it's, it's a popular it's a basic one pick, but, it, but you know here in Texas we also have Whataburger and um, mm-hmm. ooh, ooh yeah yeah Whataburger is yeah so Whataburger Chick-fil-A um, and I guess Shake Shack is like the new new one on the block for me I only recently started going there but um, it's definitely a sod pick for me. I think that's my yeah. three. If you're so out I, about, that's like you can't, you couldn't live without another fast food a day in your life. Shake that's Shack. a big one. Yeah. No, I don't think it would be Shake Shack. It wouldn't be Shake Shack. No, I think it's too new. Like I don't have enough loyalty to Shake Shack. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Gotcha. I think. I think. Uh, you know, people say Five Guys a lot, but like. Does Five Guys even have a drive through No. I don't think that dictates good or bad fast food, though. No, like, I mean, I, it's just like, I, I feel like if you got to go in there to get the burger, yeah. I just put that in a different, in a different like category. Really? Like, we, we have, we have friction. Mighty Fine Burger here. I don't know if you guys Mighty have fine Mighty Fine Burger. Fine burger. No, 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 Mighty Fine. I think no. it's a Texas thing. Okay. It's kind of like Five Guys, but, you know, um, but I think it's a little bit better, to be honest. Um, but I feel like if you got to go in there to get uh-huh. the burger, it's just like it's in its own category because I think it's not fair to to judge like you know Whataburger and then to a place like Five Guys where you know Whataburger you can just be in your car pull up and then within a minute they toss a burger into your window and then Five Guys <laughs> got to get in there and then they got to make the burger yeah. for you. It's just yeah. different. I don't know. So you're saying because the food uh, doesn't pass through a window in the wall, it's immediately a different style. No, of it's, food. Still like, food. Gotta, it's still it's fast food. It's still fast food. Mindset you got to be in to get it. Yeah. yeah. Really. Like I'm going through a drive through because I want to go through because I don't want to go in. Yeah. I'm picking yeah. That place because I do not want to get out of my car. Like you probably just put on some flip flops, you know, yeah. your, your toenails aren't, uh, you know, they're, they're growing out. You haven't given your toenails. Yeah, yeah, my skin like, looks terrible. Yeah. You're in your PJs, days. Your hair's not done. You don't want to go out, you know, you just, but you want to get some food and maybe yeah. you don't want to deliver the food. And I, I think it's different. I think once you have to go into the restaurant, it's still, yeah. it, can, it's still, it can still be fast food, but I think there's just a different category there. Like we've got to break down fast food into different categories. Cause I don't think it's fair to compare like five guys burger to like a water burger. Really? Wow. That's yeah. insane. Well, wow. This is the burger specifically. This is the deepest we've ever gotten with this time. Yeah, I wonder what Jack, Jack, the King of con- controversy has to say about that. Uh, he did. He thinks that every water burger should just be burned to the ground. Evidently. Wow. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah, he, he hates it. Oh, he hates like, Whataburger. With, I mean, he with just. Mm, but I guess so here's you know. the thing. I, I think I think Whataburger is one of those places where um, there's not the most quality control. Like, there's some really good Whataburgers. We have a lot mm-hmm. of them here mm-hmm. in, in Texas. There's some really good ones, and there's some ones that you just don't want to go to because because that's the gotcha. thing. It's like mm. you, know, you got to know the good spots, or yeah, else yeah. you might be going to a spot that they they don't really try. It's kind of like a <clears throat> it's kind of like a Waffle House. Like you could you can risk yeah. it, but yeah. You know, yeah, you know it's going to be good, but yeah, you could get something. And that's a time of the day thing. A lot of times with Waffle House too, but um, true. Yeah, I get it. Like my thing was Taco Bell, but my hometown Taco Bell has like a sixty percent, you know, get your order right rate. So like, <laughs> wow. Yeah, because it was all guys I went to high school with living in there or working in there, living. Hopefully not living, but working. And uh, but I was okay. I was okay with it. But now I now that I've had other Taco Bells in my life, I'm like, wow, that Taco Bell was terrible. I never mm. want to go to it again. There's but true, Taco Bell's, Taco of. Bell's, definitely one of those where you know if you if you go to the wrong one, you might just like hate it. If you go to the right yeah. one, it'll be good. Yeah, I mean they're and, never going to be that great, but yeah, you know. Well, and and not fresh means something different at Taco Bell than it does everywhere else. Like, oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's something that's not freshly made is it is not edible. So yeah, you got to hope that it's being freshly made. Tim had a recent yeah, tweet. I, I can't I can't find it right now, but Tim had a tweet ranking. All the, so Tim the Tabman had a, a, a ranking of all those burgers. Oh, here it is. It says, uh, top five ranking of fast food burgers from, from best to worst. One, five guys. Two, mm-hmm. Shake Shack. Three, in and out Four, Smash Burger. Five, Whataburger. And apparently, Whataburger replied, and they said, everyone has a right to their own opinion, but unfortunately, yours is wrong. Fair <laughs> enough. Was, I mean, it's, a, they're, they're nice. defending their brand. 
I mean, they made the top five. I think that's impressive. Yeah. yeah but, but they knew I, anything about Tim. There, there was like a 300 yeah, in that list. Yeah. So. yeah I was going to say, they, they, they made quite, that's quite a list to make top five on. And yeah. Awesome. Awesome list. How do you guys feel about In N Out? I like In N Out. I'm, uh, I, I, I like their burgers. I do you know, also like it a lot, actually. Yeah, I, I like it a lot too. We we have we have them now in Austin. Um, you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had them what? for for a while now. Um, oh, that's nice. And there's just more locations opening up all over the place. So, um, I, for me, it's like I love it. it. It's it's very consistent. Every time I go there, that's one thing I like about In and Out. Every time I go there, I get the same like quality of the burger. Oh yeah. Um, but for me, it's like their animal style sauce. Oh, fries dude. and on the burger that I think that carries like brother in and out for me because yeah. if you take the in and out burger without the animal style sauce, it's a good mm-hmm. burger. It's decent, but there's other burgers that are better. But the animal style sauce is like an animal style fries with the cheese. It's like oh. that's what really takes it to the next level. I love yeah. those like caramelized onions and whatever they put in it. It's so delicious. Oh my gosh, so true. Mm. Oh yeah, like, but animal style like it carries. I feel like it carries in and out. Yeah, it does. It, yeah, it carries. Yeah. It's like how the uh, uh, the Big Mac sauce carries the Big Mac. Big Mac by itself. Yeah, I, I mean, might might be. I don't know. It, it's definitely not top tier. That sauce, dude. Hold on, a level. That the sauce, Mac sauce, dude. That Big Mac sauce is as you don't forget that taste. It's no, absolutely not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a real. Mm. We really nailed that. That was mm. the most in depth. A few people are like Chick Fil A, and then we move on. Yeah, <laughs> really waffle fries. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Um, so Saif, getting to know you a little bit more, you kind of mentioned that you were in this uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire clan when you were a child <laughs> with your uh, brothers and cousins. Yeah. Um, what did you do before streaming slash content creating? Um, and then essentially like job wise, work wise, why? Like, how did you kind of earn a living uh, at all? And um, when did you decide to go full time? When, when was the the pinnacle where you're like, all right, this is what I'm going to do. So I, I'm one of those. Uh, I feel like I'm like one of the like the first, especially because, uh, you know, I, I'm not I'm 23 years old, but like uh-huh. nowadays it's like a more common thing for this to happen. But I've never held a job besides streaming. Streaming has been my consecration. Streaming has been the only job I've ever had. That's um, wild. Yeah, I went straight from high school to full time streamer at the end of um my senior summer. Um, I did go to uh, college for a bit uh, just because I was forced to and I didn't really attend. Like I dropped a lot of classes and whatnot. Um, But I was content creating um, since middle school. We talked about the stop motion stuff. And then I think towards the end of middle school, I started doing RuneScape videos um, Mm -hmm. and throughout high school, a little bit more RuneScape. And then towards the end of high school, uh, Elder Scrolls Online came out. And that's when like I was like, Okay, this game's coming out. It seems like it's going to be a big deal. Let me focus on this and try to turn this into my career. And I did. Wow. And so, that's the game that today I did the uh, like the reveal sponsored thing for. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Um, yeah, before Cipher came on here, he was doing a, a sponsored stream for uh, for uh, not Runescape for Elder Scrolls Online. Elder Scrolls Online. Thank you. Um, how did so? I'm curious about that because obviously you started back in in like 08, 09 doing this mm-hmm. uh, before really. Ninety nine percent of the population knew that you could even make money doing that. Yeah. Uh, so, what what was the driving force behind you wanting to do it? Was it just like ah, I enjoy it, it's fun, or did you know from the beginning like I'm going to do this for a job? No, no. So I um at that time, so I didn't make my YouTube channel till 2011, but I was making okay. videos like I was into making videos um before people were really doing it full full time. But uh, from 2009, 2010, 2011. Um, I saw people, you know, who were doing RuneScape videos. I saw people who were doing Call of Duty. That was a big thing at the time. Um, mm-hmm. and, I, and there was talks of like, okay, you become a YouTube partner. You can monetize your videos. You get money from YouTube. You mm-hmm. sign with Machinima, for example, or one of these organizations uh, yeah. that are going to help you get partnered. Um, back then, it, it was actually like really challenging to get, to get partnered on YouTube, like to, to be able to monetize your videos. It was super like restrictive. If you did gaming content, you had to partner with another company. So like, but I knew of all the stuff like that people were doing this for a living. Um, and I just like wanted to do that. It was, it was weird because like there was very few people doing it and 
um they, it's not like they were making a ton of money but just you know at that time like to me just the idea of making any amount of money from video games was like ridiculous and crazy cool so i wanted i wanted to be able to potentially do that so i made my youtube channel with like the intention of like this was eventually going to be my full-time job but at the same time i never made any money until like 2000 like like three four years later is when i started actually Whoa. making like over a hundred dollars a month but this is that's i was lucky enough to be in high school so i could like spend my entire high school building up my channel and not really making anything but towards the end there was like a little bit of a pop-off with elder scrolls wow very cool like yeah that's this is a first for us absolutely uh, it being your so i actually i'm baseball has been my only real job as well like it's the only job that i've had a de- like i had to do regularly as well so um a lot of people ask me like hey which you know where did you where did you uh, wait tables at before i was like oh i, I did school uh <laughs> and then i just went straight into baseball so um but that dude the, just to go to show you i think this is a really uh, important point to make here too like how long it takes to like build yourself to where you are like it's yeah a lot of people like a lot of people probably are like oh i found you so cypher through you know fortnite right and you're like well yeah. yeah but i was doing it you know nine years before this game even came out right yeah i mean um, it, the people don't see that they never do like even even with with sports like with your athletic background people don't see the constant hours you put in prior it's just there's there's no like history of that so they just assume that it's a it's easier than it is exactly yeah. and and, yeah. and anyone out there who's trying to start your streams and if you're going into a stream and you're asking a question yo i've been streaming for two months and i still only have six viewers like yeah it's because it takes a lot longer um to build something up a lot of guests and check a lot of try trial and error a lot of stuff's just gonna not work and some stuff's gonna work and you never yeah. know if you stick to it long enough you put it keep putting in the hours um things are working just kind of listen to what it's telling you i guess we, but that's we highlight that a lot on this channel i feel like is like it's a slow burn like yeah you're, it you're really not is. gonna pop off immediately uh if you do congratulations you're one in a million um but it's really just putting the time in making stop motion stick figure videos uh yeah. since 08 09 yeah. you know yeah exactly i think i think cypher's our first zoomer on the podcast no 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 no, no. I'm, I'm, a I'm i'm on the cutoff i think 96 is the cutoff are you cypher's or is it isn't sparkles <laughs> younger than cypher Oh really? Was she? Yeah, I think Sparkles is younger than you. Oh, I mean, she's a definite Zoomer, so that doesn't surprise. Yeah, she's but definite Zoomer, hundred percent Zoomer. Yeah, no, you're, um, not, you're not. Don't worry about it. You're good. You're you're in Boomerville with us. It's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, hundred percent. We've adopted you. Um, Thanks. not that you want to be with us because you know I can't. I can't aim. So, <laughs> well, it's <laughs> nice to look like a Boomer but play like a Zoomer. I feel like. Oh, yeah. dude, that's the dream. That is the dream. Hundred percent the dream. Absolutely. Um. So uh, wait, when you were in high school. Did you do any extracurricular activity? Like, did you do? Yeah, I was on the basketball team for really? four years. Okay. Yeah, I was really good at basketball. I, I um, uh, if I had if I had not found gaming, which is really what like was my downfall in basketball was like really going into gaming a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, I might have played college ball. Um, nice. You know, I was six four. I was I was uh, dunking a basketball uh, when I was thirteen or fourteen. Like I was a freshman and I, I could dunk a basketball so i was really like Dang. jumping up and down the gym and um i was pretty good and i played four years um was on the varsity team and but like around my junior year is when i really started taking gaming more seriously and i it wasn't mm-hmm. as into basketball but yeah uh, I, six being being six four uh kind of helps with that absolutely yeah, yeah if anyone doesn't know awesome. uh cypher pk is a philistine the man is he's gigantic very big in the best possible way dude and only thing bigger than his whole body is actually his hair it's, uh, it's actually bigger <laughs> it adds a few extra inches to my height it, it does, definitely dude. does dude. yeah i do this i do the same thing man <laughs> my brother is also six four and we're he's always saying that he's taller than me but every time we stand next to each other like strangers or, or my parents or mm-hmm. other people they're like no no ollie's taller than you and he's like no it's just his hair Stupid hair gives him like two inches or something. I'm like, well, that's part of my body. You got to grow your hair. Yeah, grow your hair. <laughs> part idiot. of my body. That's that's a good point of yeah. That's good. It's part of my Be body. More competitive. Grow your hair. God. Yeah. That's God. Incredible. my hair is just like my legs. <laughs> Let me think about it. Let me think what? about it. 
Just think about it. No. Keep thinking about it. <laughs> no. All right. All right. Moving on. Uh, uh, we, we love to also touch on, and I think this is something that you've proved that you're pretty adept at as well, um, but kind of the role that social media plays in kind of developing this whole, your whole content creator brand and life. Um, and, uh, you know, recently with kind of, you know, the age that we are, we've been talking about TikTok a lot, which got us thinking about, you know, mm -hmm. platforms that aren't used as much or that might be new and that want to be utilized more. So I guess the question, you know, we'd like to pose is, is uh, which, which social media platform is like your favorite? It can be from like, just like a personal standpoint, you enjoy using it, or even from a business standpoint, you think it's the best for you. Mm -hmm. And which ones do you think that uh, you could do, you can prove on and that you, that you should be on more, but you're still figuring out, you know, how uh, to so, utilize it. Uh, my favorite is uh, Twitter. I feel like mm -hmm. it's the most uh, genuine platform. Um, yeah. like genuine. the thoughts shared there, the, the, the tweets back and forth. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very connected. Um, it, when I compare it to Instagram, at least my Instagram, at least it's, it's a bit, um, I guess, using the word normie uh, mm -hmm. in the situation. I, I, yeah, I feel like uh, on Instagram, there is... Uh, well, first of all, my Instagram following is like quadruple my Twitter following, mm -hmm. but it feels like on Instagram, people just follow just to follow because I, I, I sense mm -hmm. that on Instagram, like the comments are less related to what I'm actually doing. You know, mm -hmm. There's a lot more self-promotion. Yeah. There's a lot more hate or toxicity among people bickering at each other. While on Twitter, mm -hmm. it's like anybody who's following my Twitter, it's like that's like my most personal social media. So like, if somebody's following me there... Like they genuinely care about what's going on with me. And it's like a bit of yeah. a better connection. Ah, that's crazy. I didn't think of it like that. Cause you do put a lot of, uh, I feel like effort into your Instagram. It, it's very like your Instagram is like, uh, okay. So I, I kind of, I feel like I judge a lot of content creators or, or, or celebrities Instagrams based off of the rock. And <laughs> I, cause I feel like he's just he nailed the perfect template that is crushing it. And everyone else. He's, he's not judged based not on what he's doing. doing. He's annihilating uh, social yeah. media. Um, and I feel like yours is actually the most similar to his style. Yeah. Uh, that I've that. seen. That's, like, that's a great compliment, honestly. It's, it's true. Like, you don't just post, like, uh, uh, gameplay videos and things like that, which are good. Uh, like, you have some nuts plays, obviously, out there, because you're PK. But you. you also just post, like, chilling with the dogs. Like, what's your favorite dog? And like, you just kind of engage the audience in a way, even though you feel like it, it seems like you feel like you're not going to get genuine responses or people are like, yeah, those dogs are cool, but uh, see my story. <laughs> it's you want to fill my through. story. Yeah, you you can't handle my story. Water emoji. Crazy. Yeah. So am I the most um, underrated console player? Exactly. 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 God, I got um, a guy that double posts that every time, too. Like, he can't just do it once. He's got to do it twice in a row on accident every time. <laughs> On accident. So, yeah, all that to say, uh -huh. like, your Instagram is pretty on point. So that's kind of surprising that you don't uh, enjoy it as much because you seem like you put a lot of effort into it. I think it's the like, okay, you you know, everybody's got. You have to have some thick skin when you're uh, when you're doing content creation. You're putting yourself out there on the internet because yeah. just about anybody can just say something to you, and you know, sometimes they're just trolling, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it does get tiring. I feel like when you are potentially surrounded by more negative comments and i'm not saying that here's the thing my my online presence is rarely ever uh controversial or uh i rarely ever am in a position where there's like you know a lot of toxicity around my content so yeah so typically sure. it's pretty tame but like on instagram because it's because of how big it is um and and usually what happens is like the toxic comments or the hateful comments get more interactions like people come in to defend me mm -hmm. right and then yeah. those those comments go to the top, and then there's just more bickering back and forth between somebody who commented something toxic or whatever. Whereas I feel like on Twitter, the toxic comments kind of go down. Like they're you got to scroll way further down buried. to actually, see. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's true. Yeah. So it's just there's just set up differently, and I, and I think because my my Instagram is a bigger platform, I, I tend to see more. It's obviously mainly positive. It, uh, it's always like not like 95, 98 percent positive. But for some reason on Instagram, I feel like I'm seeing the negative or or the people bickering at each other or at me more often. So maybe way that's more. like on the platform to switch up the way they the, they're shown. So that that kind of just get tired. It gets a little bit tiring. Mm -hmm. Um. So that's why I like my Twitter a little bit more. 
But um, TikTok, TikTok is a we we just got the at Cipher PK TikTok, and um, I, I have not posted but, yet, but nice. I am I am ready. I have some juicy ideas, and I think TikTok is one of those platforms that I really recommend new uh, content creators to to like look into. Mm-hmm. Um, I know it can be a little cringe, but you know the, the thing is, it's such a big platform. You've got the cringe, but there are some really good hidden gems in TikTok. Funny people, entertaining people. Yeah, and you can really uh, you can really pop off on a platform like that. It's easy. It's easy to get discovered. It's it seems like uh, whenever I go through like the for you section of TikTok, because I haven't dipped my toe into it yet, like I haven't quite gotten to it. Yeah. Uh, but it seems like people who are, I don't know. I I feel like I see a lot of people who aren't even necessarily quote unquote popular still getting upwards of like thirty, forty thousand views on a video, and I'm like, that's a lot. I'm comparing it to like a Twitter or a an Instagram for a relatively unknown name that's a lot of views mm-hmm. yeah that, that's crazy a lot of opportunities so, yeah i don't know if that's some sort of then i'm thinking is that an inflated number is that because of autoplay like are we talking about facebook numbers here or is this like actual views it's, uh, it's closer to facebook it, it it is but again we talked about this right everyone no one does their followed thing on that platform though it's always yeah. You suggest so imagine you know being on twitter being on instagram and only looking at your discover or your browse yeah. only like that was only your front instagram. page exactly For, right i i, I do want to announce that i just got verified on tiktok so Woo! here we go awesome Freaking announced dude. on the pod here to hear hey. first heck yeah, yeah. So I, I i was just informed that it got verified which is great super love um, it, dude great. what 13 year old did you strong out of the <laughs> strong arm out of the cypher pk name dude oh i don't know they just took his name <laughs> There's there's a, there's a lot of fake cypher PKs on TikTok because I didn't make an account. Um, you know, we have to we have to like take them all down, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say the the content consumption. You were talking about the viewership uh, on TikTok. It is definitely yeah. inflated due to the fact that like even if you ba- barely like you know swipe past a, a TikTok, it's gonna count as a view, um, uh, or a play, and and that's definitely gonna inflate the 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 numbers a bit. But it's not something to scoff at because. When when I personally consume content on Twitter or on or on Instagram or on TikTok mm-hmm. as of recently, I tend to consume way more content on TikTok. The way it's designed, mm-hmm. the way the for you page is designed, I'm swiping up, I'm laughing, I'm cringing, I'm just like having a good time, and I'm scrolling way more on TikTok. Like I like sometimes up to an hour before bed. It's not good because I <laughs> end, end up sleeping much later than I need to. But yeah, compared to my Twitter and Instagram, Twitter I just scroll just like. 10, 15 minutes, look at some like the most like important tweets that, you know, people have made it might have tweeted or follow something, but I'm pretty, mm-hmm. pretty much quickly off of it. Same thing with Instagram. I might look at, you know, some comments that I received, scroll through the people that I follow, which isn't like a whole lot of people. So I just scroll and then, you know, if that's it, you know, I'm yeah. done. But yeah. on, on TikTok, I'm there for a while. I'm consuming content for a while and they have like a, like a setup to where it's like pretty addicting, um, which is probably why the, the, uh, the viewership on there, while it is a little bit inflated because of how it's designed, it's also pretty legitimate. Like, there's a lot of people just scrolling through TikTok, constantly consuming that content. Mm, yeah, that's true. And it's and and beyond everything else, man. Like going through trends and like thinking of ideas, it's just really fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's really it fun is. to think of things to do and then to actually film them and stuff and see how they come out. It, it's just generally fun. I wish that existed when I was in high school because I would have been all over it. Because that's just what yeah. I'm into. I mean, I. I, I I'm I'm older, but I I've already thought of a few different skits that I'm I'm gonna try to execute, and <laughs> I'm like just giggling to myself thinking about them. They're so I mean, like they're they're silly, but like I, I'm excited to make that kind of content because I, I I never do, I never have, and um it'll be an interesting place to put myself out of my comfort zone, um but it's also something I'm excited to take on. That's true. That's a good idea. I, I can't I think, tell you. I can't. T- sorry, I, I can't tell you how many times I've been like laying in bed, just like getting ready to go to bed. And then my wife will be getting ready. Like she'll be in the bathroom just with the door open. And I'm like, babe. She's like, let me guess. I'm like, I got a TikTok idea. I just do it all night, four or five times, run them by her, see if she'll fill it, film it. And then we never yeah. do it. But someday we'll get it done. I was gonna say she's filmed you a couple times, hasn't she? A couple times, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a couple times. <laughs> when she's in on the I feel like you're you're uh to your credit or to your wife's credit, actually, that she's pretty in up on the social media uh like trend uh i don't know about like uh your wife sife but like mine is just not connected to social media at all like i told her i told her the uh hey hey look at us 
I told her that like last week, and she was like, "I don't understand. What are you saying? What is that?" I was like, "Are I'm you kidding me?" Years ago, and what? What? <laughs> I was like, "It's no, the most um, famous meme right now." Uh, my wife is probably like more active on social media than me. Um, really? Uh, yeah, she she's about she's trying to hit 30k followers on Twitter by the Ooh. end of the month. Whoa! Oh, brand. Just yesterday, I, I talked Ninja into following her. That was, that was one of her last uh, uh, quests of, of wow. getting streamers to follow. Um, but yeah, she's uh, she's she's pretty good, and she 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 tweets some of the funniest things I've seen, and um, a little bit more in tune actually than me sometimes. I feel like, wow. dang, man, I'm dating a real or dating, yeah, a yucks. Uh, I'm married to a real boomer, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, she's she's teaching, man, like. Yeah, it's one of those things that coming home, you're like, oh my god, I don't want TikTok. <laughs> yeah, just let true. me like look at a wall for a while and have Thank no one yell at me. That'd be great. It's true. Just comes home and watches Scandal for five hours straight. Um, great show, by the way. Great show. So, uh, Saif, obviously, a lot of the uh, viewers now and, and and recently that you've you've had in the mast are your Fortnite community mm-hmm. right like you you've built the name around fortnite and your how-to video tutorial videos also side note on tutorial videos um i think i gave you credit for this before but i can't remember your one of your tutorial videos i watched about a year ago and it actually gave me a lot of inspiration and things i still carry with me today not from fortnite but for like being a content creator you were like here's how to be a content creator today if i just started i would do oh, this yeah i That's- would have a, a community on reddit and then i would like whatever um Anyway, it was a great it was a great video and it, it taught me a lot. And you were like, respond to every comment. Like if you're too cool to not respond to people on comments, why are they gonna follow you? Blah blah blah. Like when you're a smaller kind of yeah. creator, obviously. When you're yeah. huge, it's like impossible. But um anyway, so you made all those kind of uh tutorial videos. Right now, what's your favorite game to play, to dive into? What's your favorite game to just just play on stream, off stream, whatever? Uh and also what's your favorite game to create content with? Um, right now, uh, I would say it's still Fortnite. Uh, my favorite game to play as of right now is still Fortnite. Uh, okay. I, I get a I, recently, I've been doing a bit of a nostalgia trip where I go back and play. Like, I played Elder Scrolls, I played a game called For Honor, mm-hmm. um, played a little Overwatch. These are all games that I enjoyed at one period of time, and I go back and I play. Um, but it, it is still Fortnite, especially content creation on Fortnite. Lately, I've been having to get creative because there's not really a whole lot of content coming to the game. So now I have to create content because usually my content revolved around, hey, there's a new item. Hey, guys, my name is Cypher. Yeah. This is a new item. This is how it works. This is a tip, blah, blah, blah. And that's my content. But mm-hmm. now there's not really a lot of new items. There's not really anything going on. So I got to create content. That's where the fashion shows come in and all the weird stuff. But it's been fun. It's been exciting, mainly from like a content creation perspective um, mm-hmm. to try to get creative. Um, but as of right now, I am kind of just excited for some of the games coming out this year. I, I, mm-hmm. I recently, so I recently did a, or I'm finishing a, uh, a, a playthrough of Jedi Fallen Order. Um, mm-hmm. Excellent mm-hmm. game. Such if you never played it, it, it's so good. The storytelling, and it feels like I'm playing a movie. Mm-hmm. Which is actually crazy because I've never played a single player game on stream. I never really really liked single player games. And really? I played this one and I really got into it. The stream was really into it. They're always asking me to get back on and finish the story, um, which I should be finishing this week. Um, so that was something that was really eye-opening to me because I always thought it, up until this point that people only watch me for not necessarily Fortnite, but for PvP content. Every game that I've played mm, has always been yeah. multiplayer PvP. Um, so to play a single player game, enjoy it and still have like a positive reaction from the stream. It was it was a great experience. But um, as of right now, yeah, Fortnite, I'm, I'm still enjoying Fortnite. I'm still enjoying the content. I'm looking forward to a new MMO because that was where I started with RuneScape and Elder Scrolls Online. Mm, yeah. And there is there is an MMO on the horizon that I don't know a whole lot about, but it just looks so good and it looks so interesting. It's called New Worlds and it's mm-hmm. Amazon Game Studios. It's their first game ever. It's the first oh, game that the studio is World. making. Yeah. Yeah. And they just posted some PvP blog update and they posted some like animations and gifts from from in game footage of them, you know, doing PvP and Ooh. it it just looks good. so good. And I'm just like, I really want it to be to to do well. MMOs generally for the past few years have not done well. Uh-huh. It's just really hard to pull it off. And um yeah, um yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. Of MMOs, uh World of Warcraft has has struggled. 
I mean, they, yeah. they are like the, the, the gold standard of how to do MMO and they're like kind of fledgling a little bit. Um, M- yeah, the genre is hard to pull off in this day and age because you got to spend yeah. like seven years making a game and it might flop. And then like what? Like <laughs> you're just out that money. Yeah. Yeah. You make it free to play at that point and then you just mm-hmm. hope for in game and or in. Yeah. Item interactions or transactions. Yeah. And that's how you make money. But yeah. the nice thing is Amazon Studios, they have a from what I've heard, they have a lot of really talented people that they've been able to bring in that have done popular games in the past. And we all know they have money. So there, this yeah, isn't going to be one of those situations where it's an alpha being released as an early release and it's yeah. just absolutely unplayable and they just keep needing to get more money from us in order to make the game good. Um, fortunately, it'll be, it should be at least in, in, a, in a good spot when it's, when it's actually played by people. So that's usually a good sign. Um, exactly. Um, and uh, I, I'm, I'm with you, man. New MMOs. And, and I yeah. totally understand why that kind of plays right into your your wheelhouse as well with with so many things you got to learn about a game and then b- building content around you learning all the all the elements and then getting into the pvp side and like just saying and here's how you win i mean that's just that kind of just is all there's always something there to be building content around so yeah it sounds odd. Uh, new world looks great the uh i watched some alpha footage of it it looks like more polished than a lot of games that came out also, like one of the head devs is is like been a long time uh, sub in my chat, and I don't know if like I'm really into it oh, because cool. this dev kind of planted the seed of this game into my into my head. You know, <laughs> yeah, I feel like maybe because like I'm so excited about this game and I really don't know a lot about it, but just like seeing some of the pictures they posted and just the idea of an MMO coming from Amazon, like I just I don't know. I have a good feeling about it. It's got a chance. We got a chance, yeah. and that's all oh, yeah. we need is a chance. Yeah. Um, great. So I I uh, really quickly wanted to kind of. Uh, go back a little bit to something you mentioned earlier mm-hmm. with your uh, Fortnite tutorial videos, and you said they're kind of a lot of a lot based around new item, new patch. Here's how to do this in the tip. Yeah, uh, I always have wondered this personally. I, I I don't. How do you make a tutorial or tip video with any kind of confidence? Like this, the grappler comes out. And you give a tip on it. Like, mm-hmm. do you feel like you've mastered it within the first 30 minutes of seeing it that you feel confident to give a tip to someone that they wouldn't already know? Yeah. I so, I would not have that confidence. So, here, here's what I do um, here's like my routine when it comes to uh, a, a new item coming out for Fortnite, mm-hmm. uh, for example. I'll use Fortnite. Um, uh, so, I wake up, let's say there's a new item. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the patch has been out since 4 a.m. But I wake up, let's say 10 or you know 11 a.m. Um, mm-hmm. So the patch has been out for a while. People have been playing and testing with with this item. So the first thing I do is I open up the competitive uh, Fortnite Reddit, and if anyone finds mm-hmm. anything like crazy or interesting, they always share it there. So I'm like an like I'm constantly on that Reddit. I'm constantly scrolling through, um, looking at tips and whatever, and okay. I might see something interesting, and that might make me want to try something else that I thought about after seeing that and then we hop in creative so the first thing we do is we hop in creative when we get on me and my editor and um, we do all kinds of t- different tests like you know can will it break if you do this does it counter this does it do that so we test it mm. we get in game we play a little bit and then at that point we're confident enough to to at least make a, a video that basically explains how the item works explains like a unique tip or something that somebody found out or that we found out through our testing um, yeah. on a massive scale and um, then we make a video out of it. And you got to do it like that because if you wait too long, you kind of lose the hype behind the newness of the item. Exactly. So, yeah, that's so it works a lot like anything else would work. Planning, preparation, and testing. And like, execution. Yeah, I just yeah. executing it, just doing it. Doing the work. Yes. Yeah. You, you very clearly have a process on how you handle that stuff. And that's, you've been doing it for a long time. And you have the following too where people know that they can go to you for that type of stuff to learn about it and so executing yeah. and be like people are going to come in today i'm going to get a flood of people checking what i'm going to say about it so let's make sure we have something and you do and there you go and that's why and i'm sure that's why fortnite was such a good game for it because it happened so much for yeah. a long time you know um so it's awesome it's great love that well cool um let's take a short break here let's do a quick ad and then we will move on to the section um ad time the make it in action time. What? <laughs> I did. I did the little. <laughs> I did the little. The thing, like the the little. What, what's the little box that you do in video, movies? Uh, the box. Uh, uh, the little. Uh, what's that thing called? 
the thing that they slap the together to like go. yeah thing <laughs> i'm doing i did that i did literally okay, did it. that on the video okay anyway continue it's my bad doing the ad and here we go the may contain action podcast is presented by printloyal.com they partnered with talented artists creating incredible gaming fan art and make it available for you to rep your favorite games new art is added weekly and drop one featuring art inspired by Fortnite, apex legends and destiny is now available at printloyal.com do you love games show it with print loyal and i do know for a fact there is several pieces in, in the works at the moment covering all kinds of different subjects too so stay tuned for that yeah check out the instagram and they've been making some really dope stuff there you go there you go so um that's exciting but we're moving on to our uh next segment i'm super excited for this you actually mentioned this already today um fortnite fashion shows okay first of all (laughs) what the hell and second of all (laughs) there you, you i saw that your uh your instagram um story about the guy scamming people oh yeah please explain this to me okay so i think we should we start with like what fashion shows are um on okay. Fortnite, and and they've kind of sprung as as you know there's a, there's a lack of content so people got to figure out ways to to have fun and um basically you just invite a lot of your viewers into a custom game or creative and everybody puts on their best outfit and you decide you know you you get them in, to wait in a line one person steps out and you say okay you know whether your outfit is hot or not or if you're if you're gonna drip or drown, you know, Ooh. basically, Ooh. you know, is your outfit good enough to move on to the next round or not? And then you, you know, you either kill them or they move on to the next round. You start with however many players you 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 have, and then you keep cutting it down until there's one victor who is like the best. But to, in order to really like add the layers to it, it's it's you know you have to judge them based off of their outfit, and then like the next round they have to do an emo associated with the outfit that kind of is in kind of links up with the outfit or makes sense some sort of theme um yeah. and then there's like two emotes done and then three emotes and then by that, that by that time you kind of have to pick who's the best um uh, so huh. you know okay so that's how it started and then i started doing fashion shows uh because my editor was telling me hey like this is the hot trend right now there's not really a lot of content to do let's just record one and see how it goes okay. and the community absolutely loved it like they were they were so hyped i was like really guys like this is <laughs> This is what's going on. Right Fortnite's come to, though. yeah. Um, like we make it to be involved. It's yeah, yeah. But we 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 uploaded we uploaded that fashion show, and mm-hmm. um, it, you know we we don't too too we don't get a million viewers on a YouTube video too often. Mm-hmm. Um, it happens um once or twice a month where a video will we get a million views. Um, but we've uploaded we uploaded that fashion show, yeah. And then we uploaded another one a few days after that, and they both have surpassed a million views within Whoa. the last week um and then we uploaded a third one and that one's just passing you know it just passed the half half a million views mark uh after being live for a few days and so yeah so we we wow. see the the need for fashion shows people <laughs> okay, yeah. love the fashion shows the people um, want fashion the data like, says it's like you know you spend a lot of money on your skins you might as well you know show them off, show yeah. Them off. yeah i, I guess yeah. that's what it is and and the thing is like the these kids love the idea of the fashion show. They uh, they will enter any fashion show. Like they will just they they are searching for people who are hosting fashion shows for a chance to show off their new skin combo and mm-hmm. win and, and, and you know be crowned the drippiest of the drip. Um, <laughs> to the point to the point where I have a I have a little cousin who streams and on mm-hmm. he averages about four or five maybe four to ten viewers. And when he hosts fashion shows, he just puts fashion show in his Twitch title and he jumps up to 100 viewers during his fashion show. People are actively searching for Fortnite fashion show on the Twitch directory and they just go to any streamer that has Fortnite fashion show in their title to try to enter if it's open. Uh, Now on my stream, the fashion shows aren't open because we actually want to complete one without people just griefing or shooting at each other. So we oh, do it sure. where it's like only subs and they have to be in Discord and they have to verify themselves. It's like a really complicated process to make sure everybody's like accounted for. But yeah. it makes it to where we can have 100 people in a game and nobody dies. Nobody just gets killed randomly. So mm, okay. so, so, so there's this need for fashion shows. So we, 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 I feel like I had to explain that to, to explain the next part, which is that guy who was, who was uh, doing this, the fashion show scam pretty much. So I was, yeah. I was trying to make a video where I was entering random people's fashion shows for content and it was hilarious people were loving it 
and then I, I found this YouTube stream. Um, this guy had about 30,000 YouTube uh, subscribers, about like 20 or 30 people watching. And he mm-hmm. was setting up to do a fashion show. And I wanted to enter for, for content. So I'm waiting. And this dude's talking in the chat. And he's telling the sub. And he's saying, okay, guys, you know, if you want to guarantee that you're going to get in, you have to donate so you can be a part of the donation squad. And then, you know, you'll have your own role in Discord. And I'll pull you in or whatever. And, and I felt like that was fair. Like, you know, I have hmm. subs only for, for the fashion yeah. show. And this dude has like a donation squad. That's okay, perfectly sure. fair. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, it guarantees that the people who are entering, at least the majority of them, who, who donated are like serious about it and they're not going to grief you. You're um, doing this but, live on stream, by the way, right? Yes. Yes. So okay. I didn't have, I didn't have okay. the person to stream up, but uh, I had him on in the background. I was just waiting. Um, okay. just talking to my chat while this dude was getting ready to start his fashion show. Um, and he, people, I, I saw in the YouTube chat, people were donating. Cause like when you donate on YouTube, uh, like it shows up in the little chat. Yeah. yeah. Um, like they have their own donation thing. Um, so, about five or six kids donated a few bucks to be part of the donation squad. And as they're donating, like, you know, I see him talking like, it's like, Hey, thanks for donating, but whatever. Um, but he never really mentions the names or anything. Mm-hmm. And then I'm ready to enter and there's like 20 or 30 people watching. So it's, it's not like a whole lot of people. So I'm like, I'll definitely get in. Like, even yeah. if these kids who are watching, like tell the code to, to their friends, I'll be quick. and I'll just type the code immediately uh, for the custom game. Um, so now comes for the code. He, he shows the code on stream. Mm-hmm. I immediately type it in and I'm like the only person in and then maybe like five or 10 people join um, that lobby. But then on his stream, there was like already a hundred plus people in, in the lobby waiting to join. And I'm like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. There's 20 huh. people watching the stream. Yeah. And then he starts and then I look at the, the YouTube chat and these kids who donated, the same kids who donated are crying. They're like, we didn't get in. Restart back out, and, then, uh-huh. and, and on my screen, the game didn't start. Like it's like it's like. Then I realized, I went through the YouTube vi- video, and it's it's a loop. It's a looped recording of him running this fashion show, and uh. and repeating this whole like you have to donate to get in, you have to donate to get in, you have to subscribe to get in, you have to like this video to get in, over and over and over. But but there wasn't a fashion show going on. It was all pre-recorded footage. And I wow. was like, I, I really was about to donate like three bucks oh. just to make sure that I get yeah. in because I just wanted to get some content. Like it was just three bucks, just whatever. I'm going to get this video content and, and it'll be worth it. Oh, um, for sure. But I, but I didn't. I just felt like, okay, I'll definitely get in. There's only 20 people. He's about to give, give the code. I don't mm-hmm. want to give myself a headache doing this. But these kids were getting scammed. Like they, you know, obviously Dude. anybody who donates like that, they've got to be under the age of like 13 they're yeah. probably donating with their parents' credit card, credit card, and I'm just like, wow, this is really That's scummy. Insane. Dude, That's and, so um, shady as thing. And and I've seen the the pre recorded uh, streams uh, on YouTube. YouTube is more of the wild west when it comes to streaming. Like a lot That's of stuff feels like yeah. goes un unchecked. But mm-hmm. uh, I've seen some of that stuff with like the fake events, like the Kraken and whatnot. But yeah. at the very at the very least, those those are just clickbaits, and you're they're just getting like people maybe to subscribe or watch, and it doesn't really pan out to anything. But uh, what this guy was doing, like he was actually getting money from these kids, like he was you, like making twenty or thirty dollars an hour doing this like scam, pretty much. So do you feel like these kids, uh, or do you feel like um, this could be done on Twitch? No. Or is this- I- no, only YouTube. No. Thing. I think this is just a YouTube thing. I think the YouTube is like they've just got so much more going on, uh, uh, like more users and and a lot different categories to to manage. Yeah, I think if this was happening on Twitch, oh my God, they it, it, five or six reports would put it on some admins' radar and they would come in and take True. care of it. Like, uh, yeah, it's just harder it. to. I feel like it's harder to manage these things on YouTube because of how many people are involved. That's yeah. incredible. I, I mean, There's it's it's kind of an, an ingenious idea. I mean, not like giving this kid like credit for scamming. Yeah, people, and it wasn't a kid like, too; it was a grown man. It was a, it was probably like twenty five to thirty five years old. He was, he was grown. It wasn't a kid. If it was a kid, I would have felt. If it was a kid, I would have felt just yes. It was a grown man, dude. Yeah, scamming kids. Yeah, unfortunately. Yikes. Oh my god. Yeah, if it's like a kid, it's almost kind of like I, I, like I don't know. It's not excusable, but it's kind of like I get it. Yeah. But oh my wow! I, I don't yeah, know. well, like you, you don't 
someone that doesn't know the consequences of their actions. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Or someone who's very, very clearly premeditated, just just gonna try to like pocket two hundred bucks before they get caught type situation is yeah. like, yeah, like just do some go. I mean, go mow too long. I I, I don't. I, I want to do something else. Like, come on. Like, do you really want this to be the way you do it? It's just it's just the, taking the easy way out. It's just do just do a real one. Yeah. Or, yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. About the the energy energy one, it's one. more. It's more so that he probably does real ones when he's streaming, and then when he's not streaming, he just does. That's a, true. He he plays a pre-recorded. The yep. Wow. My gosh, man! I just um, wake up to some money. Stupid. Just wake up to some money. Be mad. Um, as far as uh, YouTube as well, uh, I know Trevor kind of wanted to especially hit on this because uh, you're kind of you mentioned YouTube a couple times here, mm-hmm. for better or worse. Uh, you have two YouTube channels. Yes, I right do. Now. You have a, a business YouTube and you have like a Twitch essentially kind of based like highlight kind of a YouTube as well. Yeah. Uh, how do you balance the time and energy when running two different YouTubes? I mean, I know Trevor does one as well, but you know, not, work, not very well. Yeah, so how do, you, yeah. how do you run a successful <laughs> double YouTube? Um, well, if I had to do it myself, there, there would be no way cause, <laughs> just because of the stream hours. But True. You, you know, you, you get to a point where, you know, you have your editor, you have mm-hmm. someone who's hired to, to manage this stuff. And um, we, uh, the reason we made a second channel was um, YouTube uh, did not really support or it, it's, it doesn't help to have to upload more than once per day on YouTube. A lot wow. of times when you do that, um, both videos will just cannibalize each other and uh both videos will either do uh, poorly or only one will do well and the other one will flop. So okay. we had this problem where we, we did have a lot of content to upload, um, but we could only upload one video per day. So we said, why not build up a second YouTube channel where we kind of upload like longer videos or just discussion videos where we're playing or squatting up with people and we're just talking about random topics. Yeah. Um, so we decided to make more Cypher Peak game. We promoted it on the main channel and mm-hmm. you know, it's just another job uh, for my editor uh, and of course, you know, we compensate him for, for his work on that channel as well. Um, so, Absolutely. and, and it was, it was a bigger success than we Im- imagined it to be. Um, we didn't expect it to pop off like that. It's actually really weird because the, um, the main channel has 2.3, 2.4 million subscribers. The second channel currently has 170,000, mm-hmm. but the viewership on the second channel, like each video, a lot of times we'll get a hundred to 200,000 views. Um, mm-hmm. which is way like way more, f- not than the main channel, but it's way more if you compare the ratio. Yeah, of the, the percentage the main, of people yeah. subscribe to view. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it seems like uh, YouTube definitely has like a liking for for newer channels that that are like uploading consistently or whatnot. I don't know exactly what it is, but um, it's it's working well. It, it allows us to upload more content. Um, it, and uh, it's just another another little project, and it's it's not the last. YouTube channel that we make. Uh, oh, uh, we boy. have some. We said we have some ideas without That's really incredible. leaking too much, but we have some ideas for more channels. Nice. Like the the whole uh, uh, algorithm behind YouTube is so interesting. I talked for a while with uh, a buddy, uh, King Richard, about just starting different YouTube channels. I remember him telling me essentially what you did. Like when he was telling me this, I think you're you just started uh, more Cipher PK, mm. and I was like, there's got to be a better way to increase viewership on a channel than to make a new channel. Like that seems so exhausting to have to make a completely different channel or there should be some sort of like subset, like, Hey, like this is like, you have a family or a tree of content, uh, not have to make a whole new channel. So if, if YouTube had the support for that, I feel like that Mm -hmm. would be a better way. Like, um, but the, the, the reality is, each channel is its own entity. Each channel's content is going to be on the algorithm. Mm-hmm. If you upload two videos for that day, you, each channel, each basically each channel has its own um, uh, limit to how much, how many notifications it's it's going to send out like to your mm-hmm. to your audience okay. um, per day. Isn't um, it three? I didn't know that. It's three every twenty four hours. I think it's three. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it, wow. but even more so, it's like if you upload two videos, you know both videos aren't going to be promoted as much. Like there's just, it's just, that's just how it is. They set it up to where it's like one video per day maximum. If you do more, it's going to cut in. Like they're both going to hit each other. Um, I see. Okay. 
So the idea of the second channel was just kind of to have it as like a separate entity that uploads content that, you know, they don't, you know, butt heads with each other. Yeah. That's it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to, 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 to get it up and running. You, you also yeah. have to have the problem of having excess content. I stream mm. so much, like I stream, you know, eight hours per day on average and, and take off one day per week. But like, you know, not everybody, and, and I've, I haven't been in this position like for too long where it's like, I have so much content that, I, you know, don't know what to do with. So I have to make a second channel. But, you yeah. know, if, if we get to the point where it goes the opposite direction, where it's not as a lot of content, you know, there'll definitely be less uploads, on, especially like on the second channel. The second channel was more mm-hmm. made for like excess stuff that maybe we don't want to upload to the main channel because it's like not as well thought out. Or maybe it's just like a, a topic that's not suited for the main channel. Yeah. Just upload it there. Do you or recommend I, I uploading that. more than like more than not more than once a day, but at least once a day? For what? For YouTube, like just a one channel by itself. Like, are you, are you hitting the algorithm the most when you upload one video a day? No more. No, than not, one. not necessarily. Um, so so the way that that I understand it is that mm-hmm. it, YouTube cares more that you are consistent with your upload schedule than how often you upload. So if you're uploading three times a week or four times a week, but it's very consistent three or four times, and it's like on the same day every single week, um, YouTube rewards that. Or if you're uploading every single day, YouTube also rewards that. Um, but it mm-hmm. has to be, it's, all, it's, it's more about consistency. If you upload every day for like a few weeks and then you randomly stop uploading for two weeks and you upload once and then you randomly stop uploading for another few weeks, that's where things get tricky and you, you kind of throw off your channel's algorithm. Oh, very so consistency yeah. on YouTube, is what's important, not so much daily uploads. Daily uploads oh. just kind of works for Fortnite right now or for what, what I'm doing, but not like I see a lot of other YouTubers who upload once per week and mm-hmm. they do amazingly or once per month or two times per week. It just depends on, on the content and what you're doing. Okay, so I didn't know that at all. <laughs> so my you mind is... Yeah, you thought, well, there's a the reason I thought you were going to learn mean, something with uh, Cypher PK on the podcast. I'm just over here, just just the just educational commentaries. <laughs> no, that's why we're so. Uh, I'm going to be frank. Uh, this is why I was super excited for this episode because I feel like like this, you're you're there's a reason that you are so successful on these platforms is because this is the way you think and that you found a lot of things that work and you have a process and you follow that process and you have it down pretty good. And so, but yeah, what, what we were wondering about the second channel, like what it was for. Now it turns out you like, you make so much content that you need somewhere, you need a spillover place that then turned into your, that process works for your content. And then mm-hmm. it's still great stuff too. And people are like, Ooh, this is additional. You can't get enough of Cypher. And that's a good place to be in. You know what I mean? So absolutely. we, we also Man. experiment on the second channel Man. more. So we did the hair tutorial video and that's actually the most popular video on the second channel. It's just five minutes of me yeah. showing how I do my hair. Um, <laughs> and, and we're able, so with the second channel, we're able to like try out uh, different kinds of content um, and, and see if it works and resonates with the audience. And if we feel like it does, we might carry it over yeah. to the main channel down the line. Dude, I, I saw the algorithm working in real time. So I uh, am subscribed to you on your YouTube, uh, both YouTubes on my uh, like gaming channel. And I'm mm-hmm. scrolling through and just like kind of looking through like what's recommended for me, right? And I see your hair video and I hadn't watched a video of yours in like in a minute. And I was like, oh, all right, cool. Let me watch his hair video. I, I'm curious how he does his hair. So I watched it. And then after the fact, I think you I can't remember if you sent out a tweet or what it was, but you're like the hair video is the most popular video I've ever, <laughs> like, ever uploaded or like uploaded on this channel or something like that. And I was like, holy frick, I was one of those people. Yeah, it got, it, got, it got recommended it got like. I don't know why it happened. It just happens sometimes. Sometimes yes. YouTube, like you try to think about it a lot and, and calculate, but sometimes it's just things just happen. Um, and the hair video yes. was definitely one of those things where we uploaded it and initially flopped, but mm-hmm. it might be something that people just search for. So I don't know. And then maybe YouTube caught on to that and they started recommending it to everybody. Um, it's freaking insane. I don't understand how it works. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, suggested videos are just is is the the cash cow of YouTube. It's figuring yes. out how to get suggested. If you but get you get suggested, still figuring that out. <laughs> um, your videos just pop off. You, you you know you gain new subscriptions. You get new eyes uh, on your yeah. channel. It's just how it is. And they tend to people who click on a suggested video tend to watch 
almost whole thing. Like the, yes. the time's always way higher too because they premeditated one of that. They're like, mm-hmm. ooh, that is interesting. Boom. And the the average time watch is usually way longer too. So you get this. Yes. So it's good. Like it's people who are actually interested in it. I don't. Know. It's it, it's also, a process. We're learning. Don't we're underestimate here with students. Don't underestimate, underestimate the power of a thumbnail. By the way, I'm looking at your thumbnail for uh, Cypher PK re- finally reveals how he does his hair. Uh, first of all. That title, perfect. Your editor, that's a great title. Finally reveals, like you haven't talked about it before. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a big secret. Like, ooh, I'm going to learn it something. Has I didn't, been, it that, has been. That no one knows. And then the before and after shot with a simple arrow is like gold. That is a fantastic. The, the red arrow, you see it a lot. Dude, the red arrow is so important. The You're like, dang it, I'm watching that. I'm figuring it out. How to do it. Figure out how he does his hair, man. It's the simple thumbnails that just pop off. That's great. Yeah, uh, That's my editor did a great job with uh, with that thumbnail. I, I was I was kind of blown away when I saw. It. I was like, wow, I don't even remember making those faces. Um, <laughs> he just pulled it? that. That's screen grabs, right? Those are screen grabs. Yeah, wow. it's not. It's a high quality screen grab. That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> he's he uh, Jack. I I gotta give him credit. That's my editor's name. He, great job, Jack. He, uh, great job, Jack. The way Big we fan. the way we. Big fan. The way we even got him to 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 work with us um was crazy. Uh, he, I was streaming uh, Fortnite. I only had a few hundred viewers or like a hundred at the time, and that was that was like when I first started streaming it, and I, I had lost a lot of viewers because I was playing other games and I played Fortnite. We're like, you know, you don't play Battle Royale, so we want to watch this. Mm-hmm. So Jack happened to find my channel, and he was like, "Oh, I'm learning to edit or whatever. I'm gonna make you a a sniping montage." So he did, and we uploaded it on YouTube. Um, and that was my first ever like really Fortnite edited montage from him. Uh, nice. And 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 he has grown so much. He has grown with us as an editor. Uh, That's awesome. Where like we kind of work together, and he started off where we had to kind of tell him every single thing to do, and he mm-hmm. had a lot of bad ideas initially, and he had a lot of terrible, <laughs> ah, ah. terrible titles and thumbnails mm-hmm. initially. They initially, were, yeah. And now he's just surpassed us. He's like he's a he's a pro with this stuff. He really he really is. And and he that and works. He learned the YouTube game, and yeah, he's a very invaluable part of our team. And I That's feel like awesome. that was like the best the the best uh, you know people to work with are people who who kind of came up with you, understand the process, and 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 he's very invested in in these channels. In, That's in, amazing. In well. Hear I that, Joker? Hear that. that, Daniel? Woo! Keep doing, Daniel. Daniel. They're doing it. They're doing it. Great cool. Work. Awesome. Paul, you ready to hey, play your game, dude? You ready? I'm freaking so ready to play my right. game right now. Let's play your game. Let's get into it. Game time, everybody. <laughs> Woo! Today's game. Uh, it's called Animal Noises. <laughs> yep. You got it, games. Cypher. Animal Noises. You're on an animal noise. So oh, congratulations. No. Happy for you. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often. <laughs> so, it's like we're gonna play a game. It's between you and Trevor. I'm gonna be kind of uh, facilitating it. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play an animal noise. I'm gonna give you a multiple choice. You tell me what animal you think it is. It's pretty straightforward. All right. Is All it, right. So we're taking turns, or do we race to answer? No, you can take turns. There's no rush. Okay. No rush. Yeah, um, you can go first. Yeah. So I'm gonna oh, play, play the sound, and then give you the multiple choice. Then you tell me what you think it is. Either one of you. All right. All right. Someone's gonna keep track. All right. Perfect. All right, animal noise number one. Okay, let me know if you need to play it back. Play it back one more time. Yeah, play that back. Okay, Okay, all right. Okay. All right, so your options are A, ferret, B, Barn owl or C cat. <sighs> I'm gonna go ferret. All right, Trevor's got uh, a ferret. I don't know what a ferret sounds like. I'm gonna go with cat. Go with cat. Are you reading your chat right now, Sife? No. Really? No, 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 I really am not. Okay. All right. All right. So we got a. Uh, ferret for Trevor and C cat for Scythe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Trevor. <laughs> Cipher. 
Nice. Nicely done, dude. Just Nicely a done. Cat. That is in fact a cat. Yeah, dude. Sometimes you can't overthink it, dude. Sounds like a cat in distress. It is like a cat. In distress. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I thought it was. It does sound like a cat, but I thought you were just juking me. Like it was a koala again or some shit. Dude, I mean, sometimes these are jukes. Sometimes they're not, dude. You gotta know. Uh, uh, by the way, how many total animals are there? Is there four again, or is it? There's five. There's five. Yes, there's we five. did. Right. There's a, cool. awesome. a tiebreaker this right. time. One nothing. All right, one nothing. Okay. Animal noise number two. <laughs> What the hell? Oh. That was a long one. <laughs> what <laughs> is that, dude? That was a long one. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, do you need to play it again or read your... Uh... Please no. never play it again. Just, just, just read it. Just go. Yeah, okay. just read them, dude. All right. A, reindeer. B, elk. C, orangutan. C. Yeah, I think it's orangutan too. All right, sure. Uh, Trevor or Scythe, both C. Orangutan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Both of you. Wrong. Yeah. There's a juke. There's a juke, dude. Not orangutan. That's actually an elk. What is uh, an elk? Yeah, the, the end where he's like, the guy underneath. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the other thing that could have been that, that elk written all over it, but just like, dude. dude, that was horrifying. That was like Blair Witch. That was <laughs> like you're just camping and you just hear that in the trees and you're like, what? Dude, imagine here. That's why I don't camp, dude. Heck no. Absolutely. Yeah. In a cabin. Yeah. I, I okay. clamp? I don't know what it's called. It doesn't matter. All right. Animal noise number three. Slide for PK. Are you ready? I'm ready. Fantastic. Trevor? Yep. Let's get it. Nice. <laughs> what are our choices? <laughs> All right. You have uh, A, crane. B, peahen. As opposed to the male counterpart, peacock is a peahen, or C, flamingo. It, dude, honestly, it could be either one of those. <laughs> yeah, <it's dangerous. laughs> all a bunch of mating birds. I want to say peahen. Okay, I'll go with flamingo. Okay. Mm. Both you guys. On that one, that's, wow. on that's tough. I mean, it's it's honestly, crane. like, it, it's honestly just a guess. Like, they're all it, no, those are <laughs> those are very hard. Uh, yeah. Believe it or not, I actually looked up a peacock sound. It's actually more recognizable than you would think. If you heard it, you'd be like, "Oh yeah, that's what a peacock sounds like." Oh really? I remember that? Yeah, I will be doing that after after the pod. Please do that. Please look up peacock sound. That one was a tough one. I, I won't lie to you. That, that's kind of a crapshoot. Uh, all right, our fourth animal. Hopefully, you can get this one. It's a little tough though. A little tough. I have a little oh, confidence. God, in I think Scythe can get it though. Oh, okay. Scythe in Texas is really he's by nature all the time. He gets it. He gets it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Animal number four. Okay. Your options are A, Raven. Okay. B. Raccoon, C squirrel. Here's one more time. I think it's a raven. Okay. Raven. Raven, raven. raccoon, yeah. squirrel. Raven. Raven. Both you guys, Raven. Heard JD is my second vote. <laughs> I should have put that in. <laughs> Missed opportunity. <laughs> All right. Both Raven. Both. Mm, How have I been wrong every oh, goddamn God. time? That's tough. That's actually a common squirrel. What? What? That I've never sounds... heard. I've never heard a squirrel even make a sound. Dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know if squirrels could make sounds. That is a squirrel. Isn't that wild? I know I've heard, I feel like I've heard this song, uh, sound a million times, but I never knew it was a squirrel. Someone got, yeah, someone either got that like on their ring doorbell in the middle of the night or some shit. There's no humans. As humans come around, dude, those things are just like in the tree, just sitting there silently so you never see them. It's <laughs> yeah. tough. And then when everyone's so, gone, they make sounds. Trevor's gotten every single one wrong, right? <laughs> yep. Yes. Okay, and Cypher's one, got one. One nothing and four. Nothing. All right, so this is Trevor's last chance to tie it up or Cypher's chance to put it away. All right, your final sound. Okay. Okay. Your options. Okay. Are A. Goat. B. Pig. C. A cow in labor. To go. <laughs> and here's the remix. It's a goat. I mean, the thing is, statistically speaking, right now, yeah. if I just vote goat, I win. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll make it. Oh my god, you're doing the thing you do, dang. <laughs> He's so um, analytical. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll make it interesting though. I'm, I'll go with a cow and labor. Better go with cow and labor. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Everything's a game. All right. <laughs> Cypher. <laughs> Trevor. Nice. We nice tied. Done, we you tied. tied it up, dude. You tied it up. Congratulations. I'll take a tie. <laughs> That's a good If I vote A, statistically, <laughs> <laughs> I still win. <laughs> Uh, I never yeah. thought of that. That's amazing. I didn't think of it either. It's a uh, someone plays a lot of tic tac toe. That's yeah. you know, the good yeah. lord. Playing wow. board games, you must be exhausting. No, it is. <laughs> that's, I don't know. that's my brothers. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah. Well, that's what, I mean, participating in our game. How many? How many brothers do you have? Three younger brothers. Oh, there you go, Very dude. competitive household. It's, yeah, it's it's all yeah. It's coming together. It came together earlier. It's coming together again. <laughs> Dude, I'd love to meet yeah, your brothers that they go through on a daily basis. Uh, that's crazy. Oh, they're uh, like mini versions of me. We're always trying to outsmart each other. Yeah, gotta be, on, you, gotta be on your A game. It is <laughs> It is working out. Uh, Dude, absolutely. Animal so, sounds, everybody. We animal sounds. Thank you very much, Paul. Those You're welcome, good Trevor. Those very hard. Good job. Um, Thank you. So our final segment before we take off, uh, this mm -hmm. has been a nice, robust, long episode, but you know, people Absolutely. have been telling us online that they want these to be long and robust. So, you know what? Enjoy. Um, before we go, we like to uh, talk about other content creators that we have been consuming recently. Um, their their stuff. It could be on any platform. It could be just. It could be like the mob on Twitter. It could be you know any, you know anything TikTok stars whatever. Um, and so we like to just kind of say who who we've been watching and where we can find them. Uh, give them a little shout out. Um, mm -hmm. And so I will start up there. Uh, a good friend of actually Paul knows uh, John pretty well too. His name's kick tripod mm -hmm. on, um, on, on YouTube and Twitch. Um, he plays overwatch does make, he's a podcaster himself has been doing podcasts for a long time. Does uh, OWL um, overwatch league content and stuff. But recently he has started a new kind of uh thing he's leading into where he's talking a lot about tips and tricks he's learned about content creation um and doing a lot of stuff on your own which i loved mm -hmm. so his recent video was like 10 10 uh, uh tricks on photoshop that he doesn't really know how to use photoshop really well but <laughs> he's like here's here's six, 10 things that i just use every time and i can make good looking stuff without actually having to be like super into it um so yeah. like making thumbnails and things which I thought was awesome for, especially for people who are trying to start channels and are doing everything themselves. Um, yeah. I know that soon he's going to be doing a video on, um, on uh, cable management, which is like something people don't even think about, <laughs> yeah. but everyone yeah. sucks at. Oh and, my God. Uh, yeah. His wife has been in management with Apple, like 
doing stores and things. So he's got like all this experience in how to make things display look really, really nice. And he is also a rep for GoXLR. So a lot of people who have these have dealt with John in the past too. And he's really good at explaining how to set all that stuff up. So it's kind of his forte is yep. like, you know, studio setups and and creating content and learning the skills you need to be able to do those things. So his name's Kicked Tripod, all one word, um, on YouTube uh, and Twitch. Uh, he's a great guy. And he's been doing a lot of really good stuff lately. So I thought I'd give him a shout out. Yeah. No, he's got quality stuff. His recently, he recently moved and made a desk and uh, his desk set up and the wires literally disappeared. I don't know yeah, where no they went. Where it was. Right. They're literally gone. It, it was, it was amazing. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. Oh, like it's like, it's, it's like one of those things. Like, I don't know. It's like one of those satisfying things, like watching people like, squeeze a sponge or like asmr i don't know it's like uh, cable management oh my god yeah, that looks so good <laughs> oh, god. honestly um, i feel like that would be a good youtube channel yeah i how to cable med oh my gosh yeah no no, no like just it's not even how to cable manage it's more of just like a, a pleasure thing like you, yeah. you you show a video and it starts off with like the worst cable management ever and some dude just comes in and just quietly you know, oh, the mic attached to them starts unplugging and replugging and moving things around. And by the end of the video, the whole place is cable man. True. The incoming third. I think there's uh, a market for it cable. for sure. Here we go. Cypher cable management. Yes. <laughs> more Cypher PK pleasure. Even more. Well, have you seen those, uh, those, those aquarium <laughs> videos that get like 30 million views? These people just making like, like how to do an aquarium, an indoor aquarium. No. Or, there's, there's oh, like yeah. aquarium videos oh, out yeah. there that have, millions of views people just watch people make aquariums Dude, that's it's freaking i mean there's something something for everything yeah there is that at all well, youtube's a great great platform yeah oh, my God. oh, oh you uh, got. yeah absolutely so uh my content creator uh this week is a friend of mine her name is ashlina she has been um making uh content for quite a bit now actually several years she recently just came uh aware of an illness she has so sure her her videos have kind of gotten less and less but honestly it's more inspiring to kind of see her keep doing it she loves streaming very much and, and watching her content's always very good and positive and she's one of i i feel like not that it doesn't exist but it's I think it's rare to find someone uh kind of like Sife is just fairly positive just positive about whatever like just non-toxic type of relationship with her with her viewers um she also does uh, this thing called um, what, what, I immediately, wow, I immediately forget. It's essentially a positive type podcast. It, it, she, it's a play off her name. I immediately forgot. Um, but it essentially, she talks about just like people's lives, how they're doing, tries to be positive in general. And that I think that's kind of rare to see on Twitch. So just rarity right. and seeing people be positive and talking about your issues in an open forum is, is really, really nice. So she's, she's coming back, killing it more recently. Um, I like her stuff. So she's Ash Lena. Ash, Ash Lena. Uh, A S H L I N A A on uh, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Awesome. Yeah. You got Sive. Uh, do I have a content creator of the of the week? Like who? Who's <laughs> someone? Who's someone that you watch a lot? It doesn't like it can be he, It can be it could be a buddy. It could it could be literally anybody, big, yeah. small, medium, on anything. Doesn't matter who's someone that you enjoy their content, even if it's just even if it's someone that you've watched for to five years, ten years. Dude, what's the under under over? He says myself. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> um, Gotta love my content. Oh, geez. Uh, I mean, lately, lately I've been tuning in to uh, Lupo playing Tarkov, and I yeah. know you play Tarkov. Yeah, I've been yeah. watching Lupo play Tarkov um, a lot too. I I feel like Tarkov is a great game. I don't, I don't know if I would personally be into it, but like. Every time I tune into him, he seems to be having such a good time and focused. Um, so, yeah, let's just say Lupo is a good. That's a good pick, Doctor Lupo. Good. Some of you may have heard of him. That's Doctor Lupo on never Twitch. Heard of him. Yeah, Kevin, no, him playing him. him playing Tarka. It's just it's just a new. Never heard of him. I, I totally why I, I totally see why he's so into it. Who? Like it, it's right up his alley. Who? 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 <laughs> Who? Megalol? Awesome. No, he's okay. uh, watching him. Uh, uh, well, we, I played with him playing Tarkov, and he's like, takes it like, he can like, be serious about it, but also have fun. But just watching him love other people playing this game that he's loved for so long is kind of fun to watch. Like, he's yeah. like a kid in the candy store, so excited. People love it. It's like if all the streaming community just like got super into like, I don't know, TFT, I'd be yeah. a cloud nine. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, it, it would be easy to take like the, 
the role where you just kind of gatekeep everybody, but he is so welcoming to everybody coming in and playing the game exactly. that he's loved. So. Dude, he absolutely he's got a good perspective on a lot of things. He's a, Ben's a great, great, great guy and content creator, and no one can deny that. I'm denying it right now. Okay. No, um, so as we kind of wrap up here as well, um, we're going to let you go, but we kind of want to know, uh, do you have anything planned that you can share? Real mm-hmm. quick, um, what's next for your stream, man? What are you What are you excited about? What do you got coming out? Uh, what are you doing? Any events, so, any merch, anything? So we're moving into our home on the 31st. We purchased a home, and it's, it's being built for the past 11 months, and yeah. uh, it'll be ready by the end of the month. Um, and that's going to you know, spark a lot of new projects that we have uh, in mind. Um, yeah. uh, without, my wife hates when I, when I talk about the future because she said I give away a lot. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk about the stuff that I've already given away and that she's already uh, uh, screamed at me for giving away. But um, <laughs> we do have a uh, a new dog channel that's coming out Ooh. for our dogs. So we're gonna start making um, dog content. Um, dog tent, nice, dude. Yeah, nice. And, TikTok. Uh, Better put it on TikTok. TikTok. Too. Yeah, we just got uh, verified and, and got the yeah. name, so we're gonna start posting oh, on TikTok very soon gosh, at Cypher PK. Love it. Um and uh i think that's all i'm gonna give away because if, if i say too much you'll come in here and unplug the stream <laughs> all right does your wife kind of help manage the stream and everything yeah she so she's she oversees and manages like every aspect of the business side personal side and uh, like future projects and things like that so that's awesome um, really cool. that's great very much involved in, in in everything that goes down that is fantastic i love that you were <laughs> I just imagine her like peeking into your room, just like watching you while she's you talk. She's standing there right now. We can't see, but she's just like <laughs> staring. I have the camera. door closed, but I can <laughs> see little toes. Dude, like that time during streams is like months ago. You're like, yeah, sometimes I take my ring off to, oh. <laughs> to play games. She was I like, have, I've had it what? on ever since. <laughs> <laughs> you do what? Yeah. <laughs> so great. Oh, I guess well, everyone's dude. just going to have to tune in to see everything else then. Keep oh up with gosh. it. Seriously. Uh, well, before we go, we have a huge shout out to our review of the week. Uh, Simon Culbertson. Uh, they said, while working as a surveyor, I have a lot of time in the field to listen to podcasts. Uh, the flow of may contain action keeps me coming back for more. And the conversation topics keep my mind occupied hours after the episode is over. Keep up the great work. I'll be listening as long as the episodes keep coming. Thank you so much, Simon, for that uh, very thoughtful review. Appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to leave a rating yourself. And also, if you do, there's a chance you might just make the show. Uh, this is the May Contain Action podcast. You can listen on all major carriers of podcasts, including Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, or watch the VOD on YouTube. That's video on demand for any boomers out there. Don't know what that means. Uh, five star ratings and leave a review. Who knows? You may even get featured, like I said, on the next podcast also we're on socials dude go follow at may contain pod on facebook instagram and twitter we're uh we're really posting the memes it's been really good my editor's yeah. really going nuts on that channel so at may contain pod on all those yeah trevor um just just a quick note on that action is not in there so if you put action in it that's the wrong one it's may contain pod there's yeah. no action yeah. To make sure that's for saying my skin's bad. Yeah, just uh, I'm Trevor yep. May on Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok. Uh, I have a second YouTube channel as well that I'm learning a lot about how to make it better. Uh, Trevor May Baseball, trying to really, you know, double down the fact that I'm a major league baseball player and I really should be leveraging that. Uh, so follow that as well. And I'm Trev May 65 on Instagram. Besides, where can we find you? We realized we we didn't. You're supposed to do that first. We forgot. We, we oh, that's okay. Uh, uh, for Cypher PK. Cypher PK on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Twitch, TikTok, and more Cypher PK on YouTube as well. So Dang, across, across the board. board. God. Just type Cypher PK in and it'll take you to the right one. Yeah. <laughs> I think if you awesome. type the letters S Y, it's the first thing that comes up everywhere. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Pretty wild. Pretty wild. Uh, yeah. I am the uh, least important host of this podcast. My name is Paul, uh, also known as Action Jackson. You can find me on twitch.tv slash action jackson that's a-c-t-i-o-n j-a-x-o-n on uh, twitter and instagram at action jackson btw that's letter b t and then w stands for by the way 
because I don't have it on everything because I'm <laughs> not as important. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning into the podcast. I appreciate it. Trevor still has terrible oily skin. We'll see you guys <laughs> in the next episode. Thanks, dude. Bye, guys. Thank you for having me, guys. Yeah, absolutely, man. Thank that you so awesome. much for being on it.